braid Marion's hair a lot because it's way thicker than mine. Also, I'm crap at braiding my own hair. Or, if you're from the UK, plaiting. <laughs> Want to make sure that we're covering all the bases here? Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've been doing kind of different braids on Marion's hair. I've done a lot of kind of double braids. But today we're going to do one that's basically going to go around her entire head. And it's going to be a Dutch braid. This is also a party favorite and a travel favorite for Marion. Probably try it on a friend first before you do it on yourself because... It does require a little bit of practice. Let's do it. This is really easy to do if your hair is a bit textured. So maybe if you've curled your hair the day before or like second day hair is usually pretty good for this. Maybe or third day hair. <laughs> Shh. Or put some hairspray in it or like a bit of texturing spray. That always works. So it's not too slippery. You can only do this if your hair is like either short or medium length. If it's really long, you're going to have to just roll it all the way behind your head and just pin it up or something. This is an experiment every time I do it, so we're just gonna see how it goes. We're gonna go start here and then go all the way around. If you're braiding someone's hair, tell the person to basically resist your movements, like not go along with them. So if I'm kind of pulling, don't let them move their head with you, but like keep it there so you can keep the braid tight. With a Dutch braid, you braid underneath. So we're just gonna get three pieces and then I'm gonna start braiding by just going underneath. If you've done the first ones, you start picking up pieces. So make sure you section off a piece and then you add that to the one you're doing. So I'm just going to take these kind of long sections at the front and pull them back. You don't want to end up making your subject look like a dinosaur, so make sure you push those down. So the one that is kind of going to go over it eventually is the one you can kind of let go. You just let it hang here. And this is the important one that I'm going to have to add hair to. Grab a bit of hair and then just use all my other fingers to add it. So like this is now all together, and then this one can go over the top. I'm sure this looks like impossible. <laughs> like if you're seeing this, it must look like what It the feels impossible. When you're down here, you start grabbing like basically all the leftover hair. Now we're at the end. I've grabbed every bit of hair. And then what you just do is you keep braiding and you keep braiding underneath, not on top, because that's, you've been braiding underneath. You just finish the entire braid. I started doing this when Marion's hair was really <laughs> short and we could barely get hair. Now it's gotten quite long, so I have to like figure out how to hide the braid. The best thing to do is use these little things because you can kind of hide them inside the hair. Okay, now the braid is done. It looks like a little rat tail. So we're gonna try and hide that. These bobby pins are the best. <laughs> now we're just gonna let the braid go along the other braid because it kind of blends, it's fine. So we're gonna hide this little pit piece. Piss. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna hide this little piece underneath the other braid. So you can do some messing around with this, like it won't go anywhere. Tuck it all the way underneath. Now comes the best part, we're going to have to pin all of this. If you do pinning in braids, it's really nice because you can kind of lift up a bit, pin something, and then this piece will go over it so you can't really see it, so you're good. We're going to pin, we're going to pin some more hair, just like go in somewhere where you can't see and then you just pin it in to the braid. For some secure pinning, try and cross your pins, then it'll stay in place and it won't, it won't slip. Ask Marion to shake her head. That seems to care. <laughs> the money shots. <laughs> Wistful looks out the window. <laughs> and impress other people. If you have any questions about this, leave them in the comments. That's all. Derpina mode, deactivate. Yeah. <laughs>